everybody. It's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making a holiday soap. I'm doing eggnog today. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some sparkles. Eggnog discolors. It turns very, very brown. So I'm not going to bother with adding any um, color to this at all. It's going to let it go brown. I'm going to do the sparkles just for some fun there. That's just a white mica. I'm going to blend this up. So this is not going to be a white white. It's going to be a creamy white, which is what I want. And I think I said this is a white mica that I'm using. I remember last year when I did eggnog, I um, forgot to add my cream, so I ended up having to pour the whole thing back in. I, I poured it into the mold and then realized I forgot the cream, and so I had to pause and pour it out of the mold. Can you grab me a paper towel, please, dear? I used vanilla stabilizer last year and that's what saved me. But I added my cream today and my fragrance is right here. So, better prepared today. I don't know if you can see, well, you probably can now, how dark this fragrance is. But this fragrance is one of my favorites. This soap smells so good. It does not smell like eggnog at all. It's more like the spices that they put in eggnog. So, the cinnamon and... I am not an eggnog fan, so I don't really know all the spices they put in eggnog. But once I get this posted on my site, if you go, you will see the description there. But, um... Like I said, this smells, this smells amazing. This is going to be going into a candle this year as well. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. Okay. Okay, hope you can see. I know the light is coming in kind of at a funny angle. This one I usually just drop swirl. I think that's what I'm going to do. Hey, open the door. It's Sunday today and my husband's home and he's been playing with my daughter all day, my three-year-old. She's just having a heyday. My husband works a lot so they don't get to play very often. Normally our, our Sunday is our family day. We don't do any work. Um, it's all family. I'm going to save this up at the top, top. But I have so much soap to make. And we've started back to school and we homeschool. So I don't have a lot of time to get soap made. We've been running um, two different booths at a time. So two different locations. And I have sold out of so much, it's kind of crazy. So we're a little concerned I'm not going to have enough inventory for Christmas, so I have to get soaping. I had to run to Portland today to pick up some more supplies. I'm really fortunate that I live close to some big supply stores where I can get my oils in bulk. They're so much cheaper than what I could um, have them shipped for. I can't get everything, unfortunately. 
if I can get a lot. Like I got a ton of sustainable palm today. GMO free, organic, sustainable palm. I mean, I could not believe it was on sale. I could not believe the price. It was just ridiculous. I got four boxes for what I would have paid for one had I had it shipped. So, yeah, that was kind of like Christmas for me. I have a lot more white than I thought. Let's see if I can get some brown, or brown, some of my scented mixed in here. We need smell a vision. Somebody needs to invent smell a vision because this smells so good. And I said I wasn't going to do holiday soaps this year, but I am doing small batches of them and I'm having fun with them. I like the holiday soaps. I like the holiday fragrances. I really like the spicy fragrances. Fruit are my favorite. The fruity fragrance are my favorite. My daughter that's standing here, she likes the flowers and the perfumey scents. She's excited. I'm getting ready to make lavender. I don't like lavender. I think I'm going to do lavender today and just get it out of the way. So many people want lavender, but it's not my favorite. But it's hers. And I always tell people, if we don't like the fragrance, if somebody isn't going to use it at home, I don't make it. Because we take at least one bar from every batch, test it before we sell it. And if it's not something somebody in my house is going to use, I'm not going to make it. really pretty once it darkens. And I'm looking for a glitter. And it won't be completely dark when I cut it tomorrow, but in the next couple of weeks it's going to turn dark, dark, dark. So I might wait to take pictures. I have one of my holiday Wednesday. Just did. I thought it was going to darken, and it did. And um, it darkened after I took the pictures, and it's a significant difference. But that's all right. All right, so there is eggnog. Don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting right after this. Okay, here's eggnog out in the mold. I um, bounced it a little bit after I put the lid on and kind of smudged the top a bit, but that's okay. I'll fix it. Just playing a little bit of it off there. So you can see. It's starting to darken already. I'll do another piece and compare. This is going to get much darker though. It's going to go pretty brown. But you can see how it's darkening already. But in a week, it's going to be totally different. This one smells really good. Can you please go get your sister? Why don't you come watch me cut soap and you can smell? Look, you want to smell? Here, sniff. So how does it smell? Do you like it? She's being three. I'm being three. I'm a boy. You're being a silly girl. I know. I'm a girl. I know. I feel down. So once this darkens, the white will really pop. This is the only batch I'm going to make of this this year, so when it's gone, it's gone. I have a lot of holiday soaps I want to do, and I just kind of decided, so I didn't overfill my inventory. I have a lot of um, all your soaps as well, um, that I would just do small batches of the holiday soaps this year and compromise. 
but this is the last piece and this will be available mid-October 2016 on my website stargazersoaps.com or stargazerluxuries.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.